Accelerometers are now embedded in many mobile devices for gesture recognition. One of the most frequently performed tasks on mobile devices is text entry. To discover which gestures are suitable, we conducted an investigation into the limitations of wrist-based gestural movement that minimise fatigue and optimise recognition rates. Tilt resolution is limited to around 8 positions. Depth resolution is limited to between 1 and 2 positions. Participants found selecting diagonals difficult, therefore these have now been broken into two-stage compound gestures. To select a target above the centre, tilt the sensor device upwards. Rolling the sensor device to the left, selects a target to the left of the centre. To select a target in the bottom right corner, make a downwards tilt gesture followed by a roll to the right. Multiple centre points and some double depth gestures are required in order to achieve 28 characters for text entry. In two full experiments, we evaluated the effectiveness of each of the text entry designs. The first study involved 15 novice users over a 45 minute period. The second explored possible performance increases over a four day period. Our results reveal a small set of simple gestures in a matrix layout is the most efficient and subjectively preferred. This experiment has shown that when using Gestex systems, performance improves significantly with regular use. Users can increase their entry rate by up to 65% from their first day after four days of regular use. The Tricenter layout exhibited a significantly higher error rate than the matrix-based layout. This can be attributed to the inclusion of multi-depth selections, which participants consistently found challenging. The matrix-based layout is therefore more suitable for novice users than the tri-center layout, as the error rate of the tri-center layout remains comparably higher.